Hello everyone, Storm One One here. Today we'll be taking a look at the severe weather potential for this weekend. So we're going to get started with the actually we're going to get started with the Storm Prediction Center's outlook here. So this is day three, so this is on Friday. You got your marginal risk for parts of Oklahoma and Texas area there. Not really much of a big deal for right now. But it could get upgrade soon though. All right, here we go uh, with your outlook here. <laughs> yes, it did get expanded for more people. Here you can tell here. Uh, right now, how much people's in this risk? You got forty-one million people in this risk. It's a lot of people, guys. That's a that's a lot of people. So what is this uh, suggesting here? Um, so here we go. Here I'm reading this. I'll tell you all what they're going to talk about here. Yeah. Basically, what's going on right now is there's limited cape, which that means energy in the atmosphere. Um, if that's limited, you're going to get some limited severe weather. You know, if it's like really high up, you're going to have storms going to go off here. Reading a little bit more. Okay. So basically what they're talking about is this is not going to really going to get an upgrade yet. Just due to the fact that we have limited cape. But if we actually go to day five here. We actually even get a slight risk for severe weather again, stretching from North Carolina back down to Louisiana. Now, basically what this is going on here is there's going to be a squall line developing here. And I'll show you all in a moment, especially back in here. So, I'm sorry guys that were hit hard, but you got a chance of severe weather again here. And I don't think it's going to be that bad. I think the worst part is actually going to be on day four, which they... We got a better chance for tornado development, but right now, on day five, it's just a damaging wind threat. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the NAM model here. So now the model, the NAM goes um, eighty four hours into, pretty much into early morning on Sunday here. So here's your wind speed. There's seven that I've just learned about yesterday, and it's actually from this wind speed here. Here we go. It's about right there. Figgy, if y'all remember this here, let me get my black pen out. Uh, let's see here. To get size here. If you see uh, something like this here, this negative, this is what they call a negative tilt here. Now, for the area, if you see that negative tilt, you get a better chance for tornadoes. What I mean by that is when you get a negative tilt, you kind of get, I think you get a little bit more rotation in the atmosphere, but I do know this here. What I do know is that if you get a negative tilt like this, you get a, the chances are higher for a tornado development, which these areas right in here, right now it's got the best chance for that severe weather. That's what the name is showing here. If you get a negative tilt uh, like that. Whoops, and it does that. Alrighty then. We'll get back. So looking at the rest of the time here, so there's there goes your negative tilt. You can see it goes to Ohio Valley, then it kind of starts to flatten out there. But there's a lot of knots in the atmosphere as well, up to 130, which is a lot of knots that gives you some rotation in the atmosphere. Vortis your vorticity here, we got a plenty of that um, going along here, like that negative tilt. You can tell from the, the vorticity. You even got some, a lot of vorticity or spotty vorticity out ahead of it for like Indiana, Kentucky, uh, Tennessee, and Alabama. For those states there and that kind of starts to move out there your surface products here your dew points here so here you go with your dew points 
here. You got to do points into the lower 60s for the most part in your um, severe weather watch area there or high 50s for some spots. All right, here's what they're talking about Cape here. There's limited Cape for right now, but I could tell you the last time I checked the NAM, it's a little bit lower, but now Cape has gotten a little bit higher from the NAM. What I mean by it here is, if we back up a little bit, you actually got Cape up to 2K, a little bit over that 2,300 in, along the Mississippi River in Arkansas in Mississippi. We continue on, that, that really holds on to running around up here in Kentucky. It's up to 1,000. Where you see the blue area, that's 1,000 Cape. If you see purple, that's below that. Give you an idea there. Your green area is two, two K. To give you an idea there. Okay, so your strength index here. Um, we actually do have some strength going on in the atmosphere here. Negative two, negative three, there, which is good. Um, here's your moisture convection here. We don't have much moisture convection, but there is some in the Ohio Tennessee valleys there. Uh, your already checked already. Your low level lap rate shows nothing, but your mid level though, we had, we actually do have some of that. We actually do have some of it. So pretty much here's your kind of your prime time severe weather event. There's actually quite a bit in the south, but your severe weather looking area there's actually some up there. Up to seven, there, you your EHI, what you're taking a look at, here is, there's some good EHI into the Ohio Valley, Tennessee Valleys, going back down to Arkansas, um, going up to three point three, your your helicity is looking to be out there. We got plenty of helicity up to 600, which is a lot of helicity, gives you rotation in the atmosphere there. So we got plenty of that. Your supercell composite here. So here you go if you're a supercell composite here. See, it's wanting to show a moderate risk. Down, it seems like down in Tennessee and Mississippi, we can click on that for the forecast sounding. Like I said again, if you you want if you really want severe weather, you want this yellow dot line and the red line right between like wide there in order to get some severe weather. And your cape in that area, 1,278. And um so it even continues on out to the east into the Ohio Valley and it starts to push up to the north as well, giving out an enhanced risk there. Now your significant tornado. This is like EF2 plus here. Here you go. We actually got a lot of that going on. You actually got up to seven, which is bad news there. And it actually continues up to the north here as a four... You know, we can go ahead and click out the forecast sounding if we can get to that 7.1 I just saw. There we go. In northern Mississippi. So basically, you got a tornado. Swazzy wants to predict that your cap is open there. You don't want, like, those lines there to cross, which that means it kind of cuts off. You know, it gives limited. What I mean is. It can't, thunderstorms cannot generate. It's basically just limited. It's not letting those clouds grow and explode, basically. That's what I mean by it. It continues on there. So, here we go. Here's the NAM model in precipitation. This is from um, Tropical Tippets here. And you can see here, there's actually a little bit of system there. It goes throughout the Ohio Valley, gets some wintry and wetter. Here comes the system here, bringing a blizzard to the northern side. See here, uh, you got 
scatter thunderstorms. Some of those could be strong or severe, or maybe supercell Sarah. You can tell it's a little bit scattered at first, and it starts to get a little bit active here. And here you go. Here, this is something that kind of gets me interested. Here is you. It wants to form a squall line, looking like like this. There's a little bit of a bow echo looking at there. Will you get a bow echo like that? You're talking about some bad damage and winds. Behind that, you may even get some more thunderstorms left, and that's your actual cold front. And then you see here, um, into Sunday morning, thunderstorms and showers of thunderstorms starts to generate again. There. So here we go. Here's so your wind speed. Fortissi, Hawassi is very good. Dew points, Cape. EHI actually gets an upgrade. Strength index are all good. Low mid level lap rates are okay. Here's your severe weather threat here. Damage and winds gives an upgrade to high. Large head supercessors gives an upgrade to medium. Tornadoes and heavy rain flash flooding stays the same. My confidence on this is 70%. And I actually made a forecast map for you guys on this one here. Here's my forecast map here. So right now, I have issued an enhanced risk for parts of Illinois, Missouri, Arkansas, Mississippi, Tennessee, and Kentucky, and maybe parts of Indiana as well. You got your slight risk pretty well expanded for parts of Indiana, Illinois, Missouri, uh, Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia. Those areas, you got your marginal for those very similar areas, except it's also adding in for parts of Florida, Ohio, and those areas. So this is all good for you guys today. Hope you enjoy this update. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. Uh, if you really like my channel, hit the subscribe button. It's a red box that says subscribe. If you got a question, um, put it in the comment section down below. I'll answer your question, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Goodbye.